Hi. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon uh, for everyone who's here. Um, thank you for joining us in this webinar episode. Um, we are glad that you all are here. So in this webinar, uh, this, is, this is an episode of uh, in the series of Let's Plus English SPM. And for those of you who haven't watched our previous webinar episode on our J-E-D-A-L-R YouTube channel, don't forget to watch them. Don't forget to check them out. And don't forget to like and subscribe them as well. Okay, without further ado, um, I'll introduce myself. I'm Nur Adhikab Ismail, and I'm from SM Science Kota Tinggi. Um, and together today with my co-presenter, uh, let's have Cikgu Haslina to introduce herself. Okay, hi, uh, hello, teacher Adika. Okay, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is teacher Haslina, and I'm from SMK Tamanusi, so it's good to be back here today. So, um, please get ready with the pen and notebook because we are going to share you some tips in answering paper 2 uh, section, right? So back to you, Teacher Tika. Thank you, Chico Haslina. Well, um, just to let you know, we do have live comment feed down below. So if you have any questions, any questions, okay, you may you can ask uh, any question that you have, okay, in the comment section, right? Um, okay. Let's, okay. Uh, before we go further in this presentation, uh, I would like to walk you through the flow of my presentation. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you an analysis, a short one, of SPM past year question trends. Okay, regarding this section B question 16 to 20. Uh, next, I'm going to give you quick tips um, on answering questions 16 to 20. So it's not going to be a long tips, it's just going to be three of them and I'll make sure that it's easy for you to remember them. Okay, next one, uh, I will be talking about why instructions matter or why instructions are important. Okay, mengapa arahan penting untuk soalan 16 sehingga 20. Okay, Come next, I will be talking about uh, recognizing main ideas and details and how it is important in helping you locating the answers for questions 16 to 20. Meaning, bagaimana awak menggunakan idea utama dan perincian ataupun um, explanation Okay, details to help you to untuk mencari jawapan for question 16 to 20. And last but not least, we are going to do a little bit of practice on two texts. There are going to be tips to survive MCO, MCO or PKP as we call it in Malay, Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan. And the next text will be on guide to natural face cleansers. Okay, panduan mencari pencuci muka yang terbaik. Okay, are we ready? I'm sure we are. Okay. So the next one is going to be analysis of SP SPM past year question trends. Yeah, good afternoon, Tao Mary from SMK Cha. Okay, um, so this trend is going to be uh from the year of 2016 to 2019. Okay, so as you can see there from the genre there, um if you like to focus on the genre first, which is text type, genus text, okay, uh, it ranges from book reviews, ulasan buku, uh, a leaflet about shoes, flyers, meaning uh, helayan ataupun iklan tentang kasut. Uh, articles, both articles are present in year of 2018 and 19. One is on customer service, and another one is on breakfast. Right, so 
if you can see how unpredictable the genre would be for SPM past questions, I think it's wise for us to focus more on the questions now. Let's look at the questions part. Okay. If you can see there, there are repetitions of graphic organizers for questions 16 to 20. So if you can see there's a repetition of that, meaning that um, it's a recurring pattern. Um, so alanya berulang for SPM. So it has high chance ada kebut ada probability kemungkinan yang tinggi untuk dikeluar dalam SPM. Okay, so what is graphic organizer? Well, graphic organizer in Malay is what you call peteminda. Okay, so I'm going to show you more about that later. And then for question 21 to 25, there are more towards on completing the email or completing the conversation, meaning that you have to fill in the blanks with the words from the text. Okay, now. Uh, now you know a little bit about uh, the trend of SPM questions. I think that uh, it's time for us to move on to the next one. Okay, the next one would be quick tips on how to tackle question 16 to 20 in section B. Okay, just as I promised before, my quick tips is not going to be that long. Okay, the first tip is you need to read everything on the stimulus carefully. Meaning, awak baca. Baca semuanya bila awak dapat kertas perisaan. When you get the paper, you need to read everything first. Okay? It could be about brochure. It could be about advertisement. It could be about blog post. So, what genre there presented to you um, should of not, should be not, be given great importance, meaning to say um, it's very important for you to just understand thoroughly first, overall understanding. Tahu apa yang artikel tu uh, cakap. Okay, meaning to say apa yang artikel tu tulis. If you can understand what is it generally about, it's a general understanding, then you're safe. You don't have to worry about any of the difficult vocabulary items just yet. Okay, that's not what we are doing the first step. Okay, and then the second tip is that you need to be extra careful, especially when it comes to spelling and proper nouns, okay? Berhati-hati. Information transfer questions is when you are copying answers from, you're copying answers from the text. Okay, so when you are copying, it is expected of you to copy it right. Okay, meaning to say, if the spelling is wrong, it is not possible for your answer to be accepted. Okay, so make sure it's not betul, as well as your proper nouns. What are proper nouns? Okay, proper nouns, in Malay, we call them kata nama khas. For instance, if the answer is Kuala Lumpur, make sure you have that K, capital letter, the others are small letter, and L is capital letter, the others are small letter. Okay, Kuala Lumpur, K huruf besar. And uh, yang, the others, huruf kecil. And also Lumpur, L huruf besar. And the others is a small letter, uh, huruf kecil. Okay, so be very ex be very careful on that. Next, um, you should make sure that your answers are short and straight to the point. Okay, when it comes to questions 16 to 20, uh, the space given for answers are limited. Ruang jawapan yang diberikan adalah terhad. So, adalah bijak, it is wise for you to only write the questions, oh sorry, the answers that are limiting to the answer space given. Maksudnya, jawapan awak tu panjang dia kenalah bersesuaian dengan uh, ruang jawapan yang diberikan. Meaning to say, if it's a small space, you cannot write, you cannot copy the whole sentence from the answers that you think might be and then expect to get marks. You won't. Okay, so it's important for you to be precise. Uh, tepat. Okay, do not take any examples, contoh or explanation, penerangan. You should not do that in the first place. Okay, avoid yourself from doing so. Okay, there are three tips that I've shared with you now. Read everything be extra careful, and be short and straightforward, straight to the point. Okay, 
I hope you are still with me now. Okay, are you ready to go to the next part of the presentation? I hope you are. Okay, um, next one is how instructions are very important. Okay, uh, because when it comes to questions 16 to 20, uh, it is very uh, imperative, sangat penting untuk awak tahu apa sebenarnya yang awak cari. To know what you are actually looking for from the text. Okay, now let's look at why is it important. Okay, these are the types of instructions, examples of instructions extracted from various sources. Uh, some are from trials this year. Okay, so as you can see there, those words that I've circled or phrase that I've circled, ataupun frasa yang telah saya bulatkan, um, they are all match, right, identify. They are all kata kerja, meaning that th that is the instruction. Yeah, The ones in circle that are instruction, arahan. Arahan yang apa perlu buat untuk menjawab soalan tersebut. Okay? So, uh, if you see, when you are answering the questions later, uh, during the exam and whatnot, it's very important for you to circle the instruction first. You have to be clear what you are supposed to be looking for. Okay? And after you circle the instruction, uh, you need to highlight the key phrases. What is it that they are looking for? First instruction, arahan. Second, arahan tu untuk apa? Okay, in this case is the first uh, instruction is suitable cleanser. Okay, match padankan. Um, padankan penyataan berikut dengan uh, pencuci muka. Uh, the second one, write to list. Uh, nama pada nama majalah tersebut. Okay, so meaning to say that for the instruction, it's always a verb, kata kerja. That's how you recognize an instruction for question 16 to question 20. So every time you get the question, straight away circle them. Circle the instruction first. Circle instruction, highlight the key phrase and key um, keywords that's there. Okay, right. I hope that makes sense for you so far, right? Okay, um, I think that we can move on to the next slide. Okay, the next one is recognizing main idea and details. Idea utama dan butirannya, okay? Uh, why is it important to recognize main idea and details? Because if you recognize this too, kalau awak kenal idea utama dan perinciannya, penerangannya, it's easier for you to find the answer. You don't have to look somewhere else, okay? Right. So how do we do so? How do we do that? Okay. First, you need to recognize that main idea, they are normally in bold. Okay, they work as subheadings. Biasanya perkataan tu ditebalkan for, that, for you to be clear. Clear, okay, this is a main idea. And then the ones that are not in bold, those are the details. Okay, sometimes they don't even have any bold uh, font or anything. They are only situated at the first sentence of any paragraphs. So, if you see the first sentence, ayat pertama, in any paragraph dalam apa-apa jua uh, perenggan, it shows that that is the main idea and the rest are the details, penerangan of the main idea, idea utama tersebut. Okay, now uh, sometimes the main idea could also be in the form of names, okay? So you need to be very careful when you, you have that kind of questions, okay? So when it comes to questions 16 to 20, um, it's normally uh, when you are reading the text, you are going to read from main idea to the details. But for the questions, you are going to read from the details to the main idea. Okay, so it's kind of reverse, the bali, when you are answering the question. Okay, so uh, I'll show you how next. Okay. Mm. okay, I hope you're with me so far. Okay, um, right. Uh, before that, uh, before all that, I think that 
sorry, what uh, Muhammad Haikal Hilmi, what does detrimental mean? Hmm, what does detrimental mean? Anybody knew what detrimental means? <laughs> detrimental means dire, something that is very harmful. Okay, something that is harmful that might happen to you. Benda yang uh, konsekuensi yang buruk lah, akibat yang buruk. Okay, that is what detrimental means. Okay, now that we've got all cleared up, can we try? Yeah, thanks to you too. Can we try um, a few examples? Okay, so that um, it's easier for you to understand what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, um, okay, let's look at the text one. Okay, text one is about top six survival tips to cope with life under the movement control order. Okay, so it's about tips. What is what are tips again? Tips are mostly uh, what we call like ways or uh, how to. Okay, there are like how tos. Okay, normally when you have that wiki how. Okay, that's actually tips. Okay, right. So that's the text. If you want to screenshot them, and then perhaps uh, it could be helpful when we are going through the discussion. Okay, right. Now that you've seen the text, let's look at the question. Okay, those are the questions for the text. Question 16 to question 20. As you can see, as I've mentioned previously, when you are reading the text, you will read from main idea to detail. But if you look at the question, it becomes reversed. Dia menjadi terbalik. You're going to look at the detail first, and then you are going to find the detail in which main idea that they belong. Okay, mana main idea yang sesuai dengan penerangan tersebut. Okay, screenshot this page so that it's easier, it's helpful for you to understand, uh, to, to follow this discussion. Right, I'm sure you did already. Okay, now let's look at the first step. Okay. Just like what I've presented before, you need to read the instructions carefully. Okay, so that's the blue circle. What is that? What is blue circle for? Okay, um, right. I've, I've had a question from Jenny Lim. What is stipulated? Stipulated means allocated. Yang diberikan. Stipulated time. Masa yang diberikan. Allocated time, masa yang diberikan. Okay, right. So now, the blue circle is the 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 blue circle is okay. Disinfecting means later. I'll show you what it means. Okay, we go through this one by one. Okay, right. Uh, the blue circle means the instruction, and the instruction means that you want uh, to find the tips. So the key phrase here is descriptions. Okay, now, as we look at the text here, the tips are create a routine, next exercise, clean, keep updated, stay in contact, and pick up new skill, okay? Okay, so these are the tips that you are going to use as answers for the question 16 to 20. Now, okay, let's look at question 16. Okay, those are the keywords and phrases for question 16. Okay, the first one is keep in touch. What is keep in touch? Do you know what keep in touch means? And also your loved ones, okay? So keep in touch here means that you stay connected through Superhubo. And the next one, your loved ones means people you love. Means that it's family, friends, etc. Okay, now, where in the text that you could find the phrase of stay connected and your loved ones or people you love? Okay, let's look at the text again. Where can you find them? Anybody? Any ones that's quick enough to find them? Okay, it's actually there. Stay in contact, your loved ones, family and friends. So what do you think the answers would be? Okay. Very good, Are you unicorn. Stay in contact. 
Very good. So write the answers as it is. Okay. Right. Let's move on to question 17. You are quite a good learner and also you have quite a good eye. Okay. Very quick. Right. Number 17. Uh, 17. Deciding on something based on news updates. So the keywords are or phrases, uh, deciding on something and news updates. So deciding on something means making decision or membuat keputusan. And news updates mean berita. Okay, let's look at the text. Which one is talking about making decision and news? Anybody can find it quick enough, quick enough to outrun me. Anybody? Okay, that's the answer. actually in keep updated okay so you keep updated um, by making making decision based on the news that's always uh, that's always around <laughs> okay getting ready to work from home dressing up within stipulated time by okay getting ready here means uh, being ready membuat persediaan and dressing up means berpakaian Okay, so let's look at where in the text that talks about being ready or dressing up. Okay, being ready at your workstation and getting dressed. So the answer would be... Hmm, very good. Create a routine. Okay, right. Trying recipes from cooking website. That those are the key phrases. Okay, trying recipes means mencuba recipe. Okay, nineteen is a quite it's quite an easy question. Okay, and cooking website it could be saji, it could be chiral arming, anything that you know about cooking website. Okay, this one is easy. Which one do you think the answer would be? Okay, right. Answer would be pick up a new skill. Okay, so that is the answer for question 19. Right. Now we are moving on to question 20. Disinfecting, huh? I've I saw someone asking about this. Disinfecting frequently touched objects. Okay. Uh in this COVID-19 era. Okay, it means disinfecting means membasmi kuman. So, what do we do to disinfect? What do we do? Do we rub our hands on the dirt? That's is that how we disinfect? And frequently touched means that we disinfect. So, uh, what do we normally do when we disinfect? I think this one is also quite easy. Okay, very good. Turn rolling. It's actually clean very good you have good eye can roll in very good arif okay that's clean okay now um i'm going to move on to question uh sorry the sorry for text two i'm going to move on to text two so i hope that by now you know roughly the steps on how to do this question 16 to 20 well okay so Let's look at text two. Text two is a bit more for girls, I think, or even metrosexual guys out there. Okay, so for text two, it's a bit more challenging compared to the previous one. So the previous one is talking about tips of um, surviving MCO. For text two, it's going to be talking about face cleansers. Okay, for those of you who are into skincare or they call themselves skincare junkie, Okay, cleanses, face cleanses means pencuci muka. Okay, so for this text, please screenshot this uh, page so that it's easier for you to discuss the answers with me later. Okay, face cleanser means chemical to wash your face, which is pencuci muka lah. Okay, and then fermented rice, beras yang ditapai, and charcoal clay, arang dan tanah liat. Okay, so fermented rice and charcoal clay, they are actually uh, ingredients uh, normal ingredients that you uh, regular ingredients that you can find in face cleansers. Okay, so you can see there which one is the main idea. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, now 
screenshot this and let's move on to the questions. Okay, please screenshot the questions uh, if you uh, so that you can follow the discussion well. Okay, right. Okay, um, let's look at step one. We are going back to step one, which is reading instructions. I think you know this by now already. Okay, um, which one is uh, which one that we should circle? Which one? Okay, you should circle match the statements by then, okay? and the key phrase is suitable cleanser. Okay, so that's what they are looking for a cleanser. So they give you a statement, you have to find the cleanser that is uh, on the text. Okay, now uh, they want cleanser, 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 cleanser. The, the main idea is this one, okay? P3 cleanser, blood orange cleansing balm, argan oil cream cleanser, charcoal clay cleanser, and fermented rice water. Okay, so those are five types of face cleansers that um, you can find in the text. So your answer will be based on these five face cleanser. Okay, any description, it should match with this cleanser. Okay, now let's try question 16. Underline important keywords or phrases. Okay, so in this case, which one is the keywords of, uh, which one is the key phrase? Okay, it's actually a dull skin. Okay, compared to the previous uh, question, this one is a bit simple. Okay, dull skin. What does dull skin mean? Okay, dull skin means skin without glow or kulit yang kusam. Okay, so where can we find in the text that's talking about no such glow anymore? No glow anymore. Okay, where do you think in the text? Yes, that is where it is. Okay, so skin that has lost its glow due to environmental damage. And the answer would be fermented rice water cleanser. Very good, Siti Sisuka. Okay. Now, um, good, Shahidatul. Good, good, good. I Very good. Okay, um, next question would be uh, underline important keywords or phrases. Okay, someone with a sensitive skin. Hmm, okay. What does sensitive skin mean? Okay, sensitive skin means that skin that is easily irritated, kulit yang sensitive. Okay, drum roll. Where can we find that it's in the text that's talking about sensitive skin? There it is. It's talking about reduces irritation and gently with your skin. There it is. So the answer will be. The answer will be, blood orange cleansing balm. Right. Okay. Let's go on to number eighteen. Underline important keywords and phrases for number eighteen. Which one are the keywords or phrases? This one is easy. Okay. Which one? All right. The key phrase is oily face. Okay. So oily face is kulit berminyak. So this is easy. There is a word, there's word oil there in the text. Can you find the word oil in the text? Quick, quick, quick. can you find the word oil? It cuts down on grease and regular oil production. So the answer would be charcoal clay cancer. All right. Question, six, question 19, someone who has pimples. Okay, teenagers always have this problem, pimples. What does pimples mean in Malay? Okay, pimples means acne or jerawat. So the key here, the key word here is acne. Can you find any? word of acne here. Can you find one? Acne. Acne. There we go. Okay. Anybody quick enough to answer that one? Okay. Um, 
acne, anti-acne cleanser. And the answer is T3 cleanser. Okay. Right. Very good, Shahidatul. Very good, Shwan. Very good, very good. You have good eye. You're following this um, discussion quite closely, which is good. Okay. Right, and the last one. A person with dry skin. I think this one is a bit easy. A dry skin. What does dry skin mean? Kulit kering. Can you find in the text that's talking about dry skin? Which cleanser that is supposed to attack dry skin? Mana pencuci muka yang untuk kulit kering? Hmm. Can you find? Can you find it? Dry skin. Ah, dry skin. Very good. Sabah. Argan oil creamy cleanser. Jones as well. Jones Moses. Good. Argan oil creamy cleanser. Such good eye. I'm sure your teacher will be so proud of you. Okay, so uh, the takeaway is uh, I'm nearing the end for my session. So if you could take away uh, the tips from this session is that I need you to understand that you need to read everything on the stimulus carefully. Baca dahulu, baca semua dulu. Don't give any judgment. Jangan terus rasa macam susah lah teks ni tak boleh nak buat. Don't feel that way. Okay, just read everything. Uh, try to understand in general first what they're talking about, etc, etc. Okay, so that it will help you to locate answers better rather than you leaving them leaving the answers blank, okay? Next, um, you need to be extra careful, okay? Your spelling, your proper nouns, make sure they are accurate, okay? Very important. If not, your answer will not be accepted, okay? And last but not least, um, the answers should be short and straight to the point. Means that there should be no examples. You should, for instance, the answer is fruits, so they give examples like in the text, examples like apples, pears, strawberries. You cannot write those apples, pears, strawberries in your uh, answer space. Okay, just write fruits. Be very precise, the part. Okay, and also if they give you definitions or explanations, you need not to write them in your answer space. Okay, um, with that being said, I think it's nearing my session and I think that it's best for me to give this session back to Cikgu Haslina. Cikgu. Thank you. Thank you, Teacher Atika. Okay, so now it's time for me to start with uh, the slides. So I'm going to focus on part two. As Teacher Atika talks about part one. So let's talk about part two. Okay, so part two is uh, where you have uh, where you are going to answer question number 21 to number 25, right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to share with you some tips to remember, all right? So these are the things that as you answer, okay, so make sure that you, you, you remember this, okay? So the first thing that you need to do to remember is once you get the text, skip the text in order to get the main idea, okay? So skip means Baca laju. Okay, don't worry if you do not understand the meaning of the word. Okay, don't worry. If you find any difficult word, no worries. Just continue with it. Why? Because we need to get the main idea. Okay. Uh, I got a question here. Um, Unicorn. Okay, you are asking, I think, I believe it's from Peter Atiska slide, right? Okay, the answer should be keep updated. Okay, remember. Whatever it is written, because the question is transfer the words from the text, okay, so into the graphic organizer. So make sure spelling is correct, okay? All right. So skip the text to get main idea. Next, what you need to do is read the question carefully. Why? Because there are so many things that you can uh, you can know. Okay, so many uh, so much information from the question itself. Right? Okay, next, what you need to do is check the word limit. 
So in the question itself, they will tell you, they will provide you instruction. Okay, they will tell you how many words that you need to write. Okay, when you answer the question. Next, identify keywords in the question. Okay, so you highlight or you underline the keywords in the question. Okay, because, okay, this will help you to locate the clues to the text. Okay, so maybe perhaps some of you are not sure about what clues is. Okay, so the clue is you try to find similar keywords. So if you are lucky, you may get similar keywords. Perkataan yang sama dalam soalan akan dijumpa dalam teks. If you are lucky. If you are not lucky, don't worry. There, there is a way. You may find word or phrase which has similar meaning. Maksud yang sama. Alright? Okay. What happen if, okay, let's say, you can't find any similar keyword or you can't find any word or phrase with similar meaning in the text. Don't worry. Next step is to check the meaning in context. Okay, by the way, what does it mean by meaning in context? Meaning in context simply means the idea from the whole sentence. You really get the idea. Okay, or the idea from the sentence before or after. Or the idea from the whole paragraph. Okay, so this is what we mean by meaning in context. Alright, okay, next. Okay, the next step would be use words only from the text. Okay, remember Unicorn just now? You are asking keep update. Okay, the word stated is keep updated. So when you answer keep update, this is not the word taken from the text, right? So make sure the spelling is correct because, okay, you will make sure uh, correct spelling is mandatory. So if you misspell, you will not be awarded. Okay, so remember, each question carries one mark. So it's very important. This is the section that you can score, right? Because uh, the answers are all in the text. But sometimes students misspell. So once you misspell, you lose the mark, right? So be careful with that. Okay, next. Okay, another common mistake is that some students, they, okay, miss, uh, miss, that's not, uh, not concerned about the, the punctuation. So I'm talking about upper or lower case. Huruf besar, huruf kecil. Okay, so because in part two particularly, you are completing the sentence. So make sure that when you answer the question, right, uh, so the answer should be correct to be part of the sentence. Okay, Ali Haikal Argan Oil. Okay, so uh, I believe in the text, uh, if the text use all capital, okay, sorry, Ali Haikal, we are talking, uh, your question is referring to part one, right? Okay, so part one, okay, uh, is different because it is not part of the sentence. So the best, the simplest way is just to follow. So if it is stated in all capital letters, you may use, you may write argan oil. Okay, if not, then uh, you can still use uh, a capital letter, or small letter. Okay. So, as because this is proper now, right? Okay, next. Okay, another thing is please check the grammar, right? Because grammar is very important, right? Okay, uh, grammar means that make sure that it uh, when you read the answer, it should be in the sentence. Read the sentence, okay? Read the whole sentence. Then you know whether your grammar is correct or incorrect, right? Okay, so uh, you need to uh, check with article, perhaps article or singular or plural or perhaps SVA because it all depends on the question, right? Okay, so so far so good. Are you okay? Okay, now I'm going to try out one text. Okay, so are you ready? All right, so let's try out. Okay, so this one is, okay, this one is the text layout. So as you can see, they, they tell you uh, the time suggested, how many marks are given. Okay, if you look at here, so this is uh, about what? Okay, so once you get the text, what you need to do? Okay, 
you need to remember the first thing is to skim the text okay so skim the text very quickly why because we need to get main idea so main idea is very important so by looking at this okay by the way if you need to screenshot please do so screenshot all right okay next okay when you skip you need to get main ideas okay from this text what can you talk about you are going to talk about what what do you what do you learn from this right you are going to learn about this is a cafe review. This is about cafe review. Okay, remember they showed four cafes. First one is Bao Bao Cafe, second Tiny and First, third Drum and Desk, fourth Ghibli Cafe. And then what else? Okay, so they provide information about opening hours. They tell us about specialty of each cafe. Okay. They even tell about the decoration or the theme, okay, uh, the menu, uh, must try food. Uh, yes, uh, Mama Al Haika Hilmi, TV studio. Okay, so those who are very uh, familiar with uh, Japanese animation, you should know this TV, right? Alright, okay, next. Alright, now, this is the question we have, right? Part two, question we have. Okay, now, what you need to do? Second step, remember, the tip is to read the question. All right, so now let's, uh, let us read the question, okay? So question number one to 21 to 25. You and your friends want to have a reunion lunch this weekend. Using words from the KT review, complete the email below. Use no more than three words for each blend. Okay, why is it important to read the question carefully? Okay. First, because it contains information about situation. It provides situation. It tells you about situation, situation. It tells you the question and it also provides instruction. So it's like three in one. So make sure you read this carefully because if you miss any information, then you will be in trouble. Okay. So that's why it's uh, very important to read to read carefully. Alright, so let's check. What is the situation? Situasi. Okay, normally it may be in, in, uh, in the beginning. So this is the situation. You and your friends want to have a reunion lunch this weekend. Okay, uh, you know what? Re reunion? Okay, uh, okay uh, lunch okay? get together. Uh, okay, get together reunion. Bersama -sama. Join kawan -kawan lama. Okay, so that is the situation. Okay, so next, where is the question? The question is using words from the KP review. Remember, words from the KP review. Okay, so maksudnya, jangan guna perkataan sendiri. Guna saja perkataan yang ada dalam teks tu. Because this is information transfer. Okay, because sometimes even good students, they are so overthinking, they tend to write their own words. Or they tend to uh, replace the word, which is not allowed. Okay, just simply transfer. Uh, ambil saja perkataan itu. Okay, next. So we know the question. Okay, so where is the instruction? Selalunya di bawah sekali. Use no more than three words for each blend. Uh, yang ini sangat dan penting. Because sometimes when you miss out, you will give less, uh, more than three words. Nanti you akan jawab empat perkataan. Because you do not read carefully. So make sure you read carefully. Alright? Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, in the instruction, they, they, they will tell you about the word in it. Remember? No one there. Three words. Alright? Okay. Next. Okay. So these are the question. Question number 21. Number 22. 23. 24, 25. Okay, remember you have to complete the sentence. Alright. Okay. So we start with question number 21, right? Okay, ready? Alright. Okay. If you want to have beautiful pictures for our FB or IG, let's try Bao Bao Cafe for it has a. The word for ni bukannya untuk. 
the word for means kerana. Okay, so kalau nak ambil gambar yang cantik untuk our FB, IG content kita, okay, aku okay lah bau-bau KP sebab kerana dia ada apa. Okay, so where can we find the uh, answer in the text? Okay, the key word is bau-bau KP. So if you look at our text, can you identify which one is bau-bau KP? Okay, the first part, right? They are talking about bau bau kefi. So focus on that, right? Okay, next. So this is the extract about bau bau kefi, right? So why do we choose this? Because of this word, bau bau kefi. Okay. Now I'm going to read for you. Bau bau kefi. Opening hours: 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. Close on Tuesday. Bau Bau Cafe offers a drool-worthy array of steam buns, dim sum, and Thai cuisine. The cafe also serves yummy boba, which is one of their must-try items. It's made fresh daily and steamed to pillow like fluffiness. The minimalist cafe also has a touch of vintage decor, making it the perfect backdrop for your Instagram. Must-try food, the chicken rendang bao comes highly recommended. All right, so you may not be okay. You may, uh, okay, uh, Arisa, right? Okay, Arisa, I will ask, uh, we will answer the question, all right? Okay, let's start with drool worthy. Okay, some of you might not sure, okay? You, you do not know what is the meaning of drool worthy, okay? So now imagine that, uh, that bau bau, uh, cafe selling, okay, delicious tea buns. So, how do you feel? The new, right? Oh, not sangat. Okay, so it's like the new. So really, really want you really you you longing for this. Okay, uh, you cannot stand. Okay, to see the the array of steam ones. Right. Okay. And perhaps another word you are not sure is array. So array ni maksudnya pilihan. Uh, so bayangkan masuk saja pilihan yang banyak steam bun, dim sum. Anyone like dim sum? Uh, okay. And Thai cuisine. Okay. Alright. What else? I know boba. Boba semua dah tahu kan? Alright. Okay. Maybe perhaps this one. Pillow like fluffiness. Okay. So, you bayangkan dia punya steam binder. On the steam to pot. Pillow like fluffiness. Pillow tak boleh kan bantal. So, pillow like fluffiness ni. Fluffy ni lembut. Lembut seperti bantal. Okay. Dia punya pun umpamaan dia. Okay. Just now. Uh, you ask me. What is vintage decor, right? Okay. So, vintage ni adalah barang lama. So, kalau vintage decor, so, dia decorate cafe ni dengan hiasan barang lama. So, perhaps uh, 50s, 1950s, 1960s or 1970s. That is vintage decor. So, I hope I have answered the question. Alright? Okay. So, what's next? Now, we go back to the question. We look for the keywords. Okay, the keyword is beautiful pictures for our MB or IG. Okay, now go back to the text. Can we see any word similar? Okay, you are correct. You see this one? Uh, the word Instagram, right? IG stands for Instagram, right? Okay, so making it the perfect backdrop for your Instagram. Betul lah, nak ambil gambar, mesti lah nak kena perfect backdrop ni untuk your IG. Alright, now. So back to the question, okay, if you want to have beautiful pictures for our ID or ID, let's try Baobao Kifi for Kerana it has, okay, you see the word it has a, look at the text, okay, ada pula perkataan for Kifi also has a. Alright, so what do you think the answer is? You want you like to try? Okay, Zuan says, touch of vintage decor. Are you, uh, I, I believe you are referring to decor? Right. Any other answer? All right. Okay. Vintage decor. All right. So, okay. Thank you. So, we get several answers here. Okay. Now, let's take a look at, uh, okay. So, someone answered touch of vintage decor. Okay. Now, can you count the number of the words? How many words? One, two, three, four. So, remember the questions, the instruction says, right? No more than three words. So, Sorry, we cannot accept this answer, right? So this is the common mistake made by students. 
So please be careful with the instruction. Okay. Um, how about this one? Of vintage deco. Do you think we can accept it? Alright. Okay. So, so again, no. Why? Because when you put it as part of a sentence, it is in uh, grammatically incorrect. Right? It has a of vintage deco. So definitely it's wrong. Alright. How about this one? Vintage deco. Okay. So uh, most of you have answered vintage deco. So can we accept this answer? Yes. Okay. So good. So those who answered Shakir got the correct answer. Good. So vintage deco is the answer. Right? So easy, right? Okay. Can we start? Uh, can we continue with the next one? Okay. So let's try the question of 22. Okay. At tiny animals, we can have their best soft serve that comes in different flavors, such as green pea, hazelnut, and okay, keyword is tiny animals. Okay, now go back to the text. So, where do you think the, uh, the answer can be found? Can you see tiny elephant? Yes, good. Tiny elephant. So, just focus on that. Okay. So, we have tiny elephant. The extra of tiny elephants. So, I'm going to read up for you. Tiny elephants. Opening hours 12.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. For desserts, head over to tiny elephants. The humble kitty apparently serves the best soft serve. Ice cream in town. Some of the must try flavors include calabot, chocolate, hazelnut, and green tea. Apart from soft serve, you can also enjoy pizza, hot hot chicken, and french fries. Must try food, buttermilk waffle, top with your favorite soft serve flavor. Is there any word that you are not sure? Perhaps the word head over? Uh, okay. Uh, popsicle, calabot chocolate is the name of the chocolate. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, it's the name of the type of the chocolate. Okay, it's the, the name of the chocolate is calabot. Okay, that's why you see the inverted comma there. Okay, it's a top pronoun there. All right, okay. Next, you know what's head over? Head over to tiny and fun. What is that? Uh, nak pergi, nak makan makanan manis? Pergi. So the word head over means pergi. Okay, perhaps you are not sure about the humble kitty. You know the word humble, right? Uh, rendah diri, right? But, macam mana kitty tu nak rendah diri? Okay, humble kitty simply means simple kitty, basic kitty. So, tak grand sangat lah. Very basic one, right? Simple one. Alright, okay. Perhaps you do not know the words apparently. Okay, apparently means nampaknya, right? Okay, so in what? Okay, perhaps you do not know what is soft serve ice cream. Macam mana bentuk soft serve ice cream ni? Uh, if you like to go to McD, you can see this ice cream, right? Uh, the texture is soft, right? So this is soft serve ice cream. Okay, so let's take a look at the question back. At tiny animals, we can have their best soft serve. So you know soft serve, okay? We can find this, this face soft serve in the question that comes in different flavors keyword is flavors does it mention that flavors yes flavors is in the text okay so they give you green tea and hazelnut two flavors such as means okay uh, you see yes you can okay so now another keyword is such as seperti different flavor Polisa berbeza, seperti green tea, hazelnut, and So, ada lagi satu tertinggal kat sini. Okay, in the text pun ada cakap, include termasuk. They give three example, right? They give three. Now, what is missing here? What will be the answer? Can you guess what is the answer? Okay, Amal Farouk, kalau buat coklat, jangan risau. Ini adalah nama coklat. Okay, nama jenis coklat. Uh, semua ramai tanya calibot chocolate. Kita nampak inverted comma tu. Okay. Uh, Alright. Nama chocolate. Alright. Okay. Next. So what do you think the answer is? You want to guess? Okay. The answer is calibot chocolate. Alright. Okay. Uh, for so your answer is calibot chocolate. Okay. What happened if students write this? Calibot chocolate. Can we accept this? Ah. Uh, Want to make a guess? Yes or no? 
Okay, those who say this is a wrong answer, yes, you are correct. Why? Because this is proper noun. You see? Ambil saja perkataan itu sama. Jangan tinggalkan. Kalau dia capital letter huruf besar mula, so jawapan mesti huruf besar. Okay? So, this is not correct. Okay. So, the answer is Calibut chocolate. Ha, yang ni. How about this one? Can you set the answer? Is this correct? Help me. Do you think this answer? No, Pops, why? Why the answer is wrong? Anyone? Uh, because of why? Because of the spelling. Okay, spelling. So, again, spelling is very important. Okay, so we can't accept this answer. Missing one L, right? Okay, so spelling. So, it should be uh, typo error. Yes, by train. Uh, typo, you spell. Calibre chocolate. So, that, that is the answer. Alright? Okay. So, calibre chocolate. Alright. Okay. Let's say, without the inverted comma, can we accept this answer? Yes. Alright? As long as it begins with capital letter of C. That is very important. Alright. Okay. Can we move on to the next question? Alright? Okay. Now, let's take a look at the question number 23. Drum and desk is a perfect spot if you still cannot decide either to have. Alright, so what is the keyword here? Drum and desk. So if you look at the text, where can you find the answer? Yes, you can see drum and desk there. Right, so that will be the answer. So we will find focus on that. So let's take out the extract of the drum and desk. Okay, let me read for you. Drum and desk, opening hours 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. A perfect spot for either lunch or dinner. Drum and Dance is a cheap cafe serving western dishes and shaved ice. Sweet and cold is the best combination for Kelantan's tropical heat. If you are not a fan of shaved ice, Drum and Dance also serves burnt cheesecake. Must try food. The buttermilk chicken waffle is the perfect combination of sweet, citrusy and savory. Okay, so why we choose this? Because of the word Drum and Dance. Alright, perhaps you do not know the meaning of cheap cafe, right? Okay, so cheap cafe means stylish, elegant cafe. Okay, so you must look at it. Very stylish, somewhat, somewhat sophisticated. Alright, yes, what else? Perhaps you do not know what is shape eyes. I know eyes, but I do not know what is shape eyes. Okay, so I'm sure you love this. Uh, you know what is this? This is shift eyes. So we have shift eyes, right? ABC is shift eyes, right? Okay. Next. Okay. Citrusy. Why citrusy? Okay. It comes from the word citrus. Wabohan citrus. So the flavor, the rasa, the rasa was citrus. Citrus. So it's a bit masama. Huh? And what's savory? Okay. Savory ni pula. Pedas, masa dia pedas. Ataupun berempang spicy. That is simple. Alright? Okay, now let's go back to the question. Okay, the keyword is perfect spot. Spot. Tempat yang sangat tepat. Okay, so you go there, you look. This is your perfect spot. So can we see this phrase? Yes, you can see in the text. Perfect spot. Okay? Now, another keyword is the word either. And you can see the word either there. So, when we have the word either, that means dia bagi pilihan dua. Okay, dua pilihan. So, sama ada um, you nak pilih apa atau apa. Okay, so do you have any answer for this? You want to try? Okay, uh, most of you answer lunch or dinner, lunch or dinner, lunch or dinner. Alright, okay. Next. Let's say someone answered either lunch or dinner. Okay, can we accept this? No, right? It's four words, right? Okay, four words. Okay. So, we cannot accept this. It's four words. And it is uh, grammatically incorrect. Okay, when we have the word either, it is repeated. Okay, so we cannot. Hmm. How about this one? Lunch or diner. Can we accept this? Okay, help me. You, what do you think? The answer, whether it's, can we accept it or not? Can you accept? No. Is why? Why? Because of the why. Okay, again, spelling. Diner, 
has a different meaning. Okay, Dania. So it's not Dina, it's Dania. Okay, so it is wrong. So the answer will be why? Yes, correct. So I believe you no know, uh, majority answered lunch or dinner by Dr. Popsicle. Okay. Alright, good. Okay, good. Uh, good uh, record from you, right? Okay, now let's continue. Okay, uh, see, uh, see spelling. Yes, we call the spelling correct. See, uh, nose, uh, Amisha, Rose, Shahira, nice name because of spelling. Yes, you are right. Okay, because the spelling. So, be careful with the spelling, the spelling methods. Okay, can you move on to question number 24? All right, okay, let's take a look at question number 24. And yes, this is the only cafe that serves. Okay, remember this is a confirmation. So the keyword is and yes, this. So only cafe. So we are still referring to the same cafe. All right. So we go back to drum and desk again. We are still talking about the, the same cafe. So drum and desk again. All right. So the keyword here is serves. Can you see the word serves there? Good. We have serves here. All right. Okay. So, for your information, okay. So, if you recall, these are the specialty of each uh, cafe. If you refer to drum and desk, they have specialty. One is shaped ice, another one is burnt cheesecake. Okay. So, that is their specialty. So, others do not provide this. They, their specialty is this one. All right. So, let's say. You do not answer, you give answer this one. Buttermilk chicken waffle. Can we accept that? You can state that here. Must try food, the buttermilk chicken waffle. Can we accept that? Okay, no, sorry. Why? Because, right? Uh tiny elephants also sell buttermilk waffle. So we can't say this is the only cafe, right? Okay, so how about cheesecake? Can we accept cheesecake? You see the same. As burnt cheesecake. You know what? Burnt cheesecake, huh? Oh, cheesecake. Then got the bakar, right? Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. So, cheesecake is wrong, right? Okay. Uh, you can uh, okay? No. The answer is not cheesecake. The answer is what? Right. That's good. Muhammad Shah. Okay. And Ahmad Farouk, you got correct answer. Very good. Okay. So, burnt cheesecake is correct. So, this is the answer. All right. No, you got correct answer. Well done. All right. Okay. Can we move to the next question? Question number 25. So this is the last question. We can try the, we can try what? From Guatemala, Guatemala or Colombia at Ghibli Cafe. This is one of the most busy cafes for coffee lovers like this. All right. Okay. So what is the keyword here? Ghibli Cafe. Go to the test. Where can we find Ghibli Cafe? Yes, so the answer can be found here. So focus on GBKP, all right? So I will extract this GBKP. Okay, let me read for you. GBKP, opening hours 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. If you think the KP is an anime, GBT KP, we are sorry to disappoint you. The KP only borrows the name. GBKP is one of the most busy cafes for coffee lovers. Offering premium coffee beans from Guatemala and um, Colombia, Brazil, and Indonesia. The cafe is a top notch. Top notch. Some of the must tries include the mac and cheese bowl bread and Swedish meatballs that can rival those from IKEA. Meatballs, IKEA. All right. Okay. Must try food: buttermilk salted egg chicken. All right. Now, why we choose this? Yes, because it's Ghibli Cafe. Now, in any word that you do not understand, anime is okay, it's coming from Japan. Cartoon, eh? Animasi Japan, yeah? Okay, so I, I believe some of you are familiar with Ghibli, yeah? But, uh, right. Okay, what else? Disappoint, Kachiwa. What else? Mm, top notch. Okay, the cafe is a top notch. Okay, it means that. Berkualiti tinggi. So, cafe ini uh, akan menyediakan bahan yang berkualiti tinggi. Right. Okay. Rival. Ah, dia claim. Ah, dia punya Swedish meat boss dia. That rival. Those from Ikea. So, rival ni maksudnya bersaling. Okay. So, you have to try this. 
uh, nak tengok mana yang betul ke dia kata dia boleh rival those from IKEA alright okay now let's go back to the question the keyword is Guatemala or Colombia alright so can we see Guatemala and Colombia yes we have in the text right so now we are looking what 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 thing we can try what from Guatemala Colombia right okay so we have the word from here Okay, kita boleh cuba apa daripada dari Guatemala or Colombia? Cuba apa? Okay, in the text, we also have the word from. Offering premium coffee beans. Okay, dia menyediakan premium coffee beans. Coffee beans, biji kopi yang bermutu tinggi dari Guatemala or Colombia. So, do, do you know what the answer is? Alright. Okay. Nabil Nuruddin says the answer is premium coffee beans. Okay, so Nabil, what if the student answer premium coffee? Yeah? Can we accept? Okay, Hazil and Unicorn also have the same answer, have the same answer. Okay, uh, premium coffee beans then. Eh? Okay, tapi tak pula. Kalau ada pelajar yang jawab premium coffee, is it the same? It, can we accept the answer? No. Okay. Premium coffee. We are talking about coffee saja. We are not talking about BG coffee. Right? So, cannot. Nabi a good. Cannot. Okay? So, we check the answer, right? Okay. How about students write this? Coffee beans. Ah, coffee beans. What is that? Can you accept this? Okay? City suka. City si suka. Okay, no. Alright. Hmm. Okay? Coffee beans, no. Alright? Because, you see, we are not talking about any coffee beans. We are talking about premium. Sebab tu dia kata, the cafe is a top notch, berkualiti tinggi. If you accept this coffee beans, mana-mana coffee beans, biji kopi yang tak berkualiti pun diterima. So, no, unacceptable. Okay, Nabilah pun unacceptable. Right? So, you cannot answer this. Cannot accept this. Okay. If student write this, can we accept this? Can you help me? Uh, Okay, what do you think the answer? Do you think we can accept this answer? Premium coffee bean. Yes or no? Right. Okay. No. Popsicle say no. Right. Yes. You are right. Nabila say unacceptable. Why? Again. Why? Daniel say what? no. Why, why Daniel? Why? Because of what? Again. Because of the spelling. Right? Spelling. Okay. Uh, dia dah bagi beans. Okay, Dahlia, you are saying no, right? Okay, dia dah bagi dah beans. So, jangan tinggalkan perkataan ni. Beans satu, beans banyak. So, it's different, right? Okay, so what will be the answer? Premium coffee beans. Yes, you are right. Okay, so make sure when you answer this, check the spelling again and again. These are the uh, common mistake made by students. So, we do not want to lose our marks, right? Uh, jangan buang marka macam ni saja. So, check the spelling again. Okay. Alright? Okay. So, the answer is premium coffee beans. So, I am done with uh, uh, text one just now. So, uh, before I end it, my, my part, I would like to uh, bring to you to the SPM fastness question. So, I will show you three uh, fastness questions. So, let's begin with SPM 2019. So this is how it looks like. So this is SPM 2019, right? Okay, so this is the extract of part two question. Okay, part two question. All right, okay, look at the question. Using words from the magazine article, complete the email below. Use no more than two words for each blend, right? Okay, now from this uh, this year, SPM 2019, they do not provide, remember, check, uh, read the, the question carefully, they do not provide the situation, but do not worry, okay? So, we have the uh, set of question and the instruction, okay? So, question is using words from the magazine article, complete the email video, okay? Instruction is use no more than two words from each plan. So, from this, we know that the word limit is right. No more than two words. So if we answer three words, it's not there. They will not accept the answer, even though it the answer is there. 
but because you add one more word, right? Okay. And this is the form of email. So you need to complete the email, all right? Okay. Now let's take a look at SPM 2018. Okay, you see to SPM 2018. All right. So this is the, the question, the layout of the question. Okay, they start with 16 and then part one. And then okay, part one, you're asking for the name of the person, right? And then part two. Right. Okay. So let's uh, I'm going to show you the extract of part two. Okay, so this is the question from 21 to 25. All right. Okay. Remember 2019 is email. Okay, so this is the question. Raju is planning to start a small business. He asked his friend Azman for advice. Using words from the article, complete the conversation below. Use no more than three words for each blend. All right. Okay. Now they have a situation. The situation is Raju is planning to start a small business. Okay. So he asked his friend Azman for advice. Question. Using words from the article. Repeat. Words from the article. Eh? Bukan perkataan anda sendiri. Complete the conversation below. All right. Okay, so instruction. No more than three words. What we need? No more than three words. Okay, so this is not email. Huh? This is conversation. This is a dialogue. So we have to complete the dialogue. Okay, let's take a look at SPM 2017. Okay, now. Okay, what's the difference between SPM 2017 with 2018 and 2019? Do you see any difference? Yes. Okay, they are starting with part two. You see, they are not starting with part one, they are starting with part two. So do not be shocked. Okay, you may see this. You may see this. Okay, so I want to show you a variety of uh, the way the question layout is given. Okay, they start with part two. So for SPM 2017, question layout started with part two type question. So normally they start with labeling the name, right? So this time, you have to complete the text. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. Okay, so now we are not answering 21 to 25, but 16 to 20. All right. Okay, so the question is, okay, this is the question. Uh, this question. Ibrahim is going on a camping trip. Uh, okay, question. Using words from the leaflet given, complete his blog entry below. Uh, hari itu 2019 email, 2018 conversation, 2017 block entry. So it, it, it shows that variety of forms can be uh, can be asked, right? Okay, what we need, how many words? One word, okay, my dear, one word. Be careful with that, one word only, right? Okay, so we are done. So with my part, so thank you so much for uh joining today but before that do you have any question q and a session so this is q and a uh, session so that uh uh teacher atika and uh me will help uh, answering the question anything that you are not sure okay anything that you need uh, to be clarified okay uh some of you answered uh, uh some of you commented very strict right okay Yes, because the question is easy. So they uh, just want to make sure that you okay um, understood the instruction. Okay, transfer the information. Okay, are you still yeah? So straight, right? Okay. Uh in terms not so straight actually. They just ask you to use the to use the word, the spelling correctly, right? So the word is there. You don't have to uh Quite wrong here to create your own word, right? The word is there. Just simply transfer it. And make sure when you transfer, transfer it correctly. Okay, uh, Hadi no Azhar. What's the minimum mark should we get for section B? Okay, to be safe, make sure that each section, okay, try to get at least half of them, right? Teachers, teacher, Atika, right? So let's say we have 10 marks, right? So at least one to be safe, okay? To be safe at least one. Because this is the easiest part. Okay, try to maximize your, your marks here. Okay, because the answer is there. All right. Anything that you would like to ask? Okay, perhaps teacher Atika would like to answer the question. Okay. Um okay, uh <laughs> SPM keeps scaring me. No, you shouldn't be scared of SPM. Um I think English is one of the easiest subjects to 
to pass and even score, in fact. So as long as you stick to the tips that uh, has been given to you, um, God willing, uh, it's it's not supposed to be scaring you. Okay, you need not to be scared of SPM. <laughs> okay, uh, next one. Uh, will there be a session on novels? There will be session on novels. So it's going to be uh, in the next session. So stay tuned. Do not... Um, do not forget to subscribe us so that you know when is it going to be aired. Okay. Why tips to score? Why tips to score the novel questions? Check us Lina. Can you help me with one? Yeah, they are so excited. We have the novels again. Okay, you may throw your questions there. Okay, don't worry. Just wait. Just wait for the uh, session. All right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What does satire mean? Hmm, satire. What is satire? In Malay, satire is uh, satira, right? So satira is satire is almost like uh, it's 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 humor, but it's humor in reflecting the society there. Okay, so uh, it's making fun of the society in question, lah. Okay, making jokes out of it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a few words of encouragement. Um, well, um, in whatever, in whatever decision or in whatever situation that we have right now, uh, I think it's best for us to persevere. Okay, no matter uh, what condition or when are you going to take the exam, it's very important for you to keep on pushing to keep soldiering on uh, so that uh, you'll be on the right track on scoring your SPM to, uh, 2020. Okay. Okay, uh, we, uh, we have done paper one. Don't no worry, you can still watch the video, right? Okay, uh, just subscribe so you, you, you can, you can uh, we watch and you watch. Okay, don't worry. We have uh, we had we had done paper one two weeks ago, right? Yes. All right. Uh, again for the summary. Oh shit! Uh, you're so excited about the next. <laughs> so just wait for the for the next webinar. Okay, don't worry. Or if you have any question, just uh. Just write down the question and you will ask uh, after that, alright? Okay, during the next webinar. Alright, okay. So thanks for the QA session. So if you have any more questions, so you will write in the comment section and of course our teachers will help you. Alright. So uh before we end, uh we would like to thank our sector pembelajaran uh Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri Johor for giving us uh, such opportunity, good opportunity to be here today. Okay, and also I would like to thank everyone who joined us today for, for questions, okay? Which is good, very uh, uh, good interaction, very uh, nicely done. Well done, everyone here. Okay, I really hope that you have learned something, okay, uh, from this and uh, hope that you will apply when you answer the question. All right, okay. Um, Teacher Atika, anything to say before we end the session? Uh, I think you said it all. You, you. <laughs> and don't forget about our coming so in, uh, webinar. There will be two episodes. Uh, there will be two webinars coming soon, right? Okay, don't miss them. All right. Okay. So I think that's it. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>